Hey guys, just saying g'day from dry land today. Uh, just at our home base and just dragged the boat out to sort of start prepping a few things, chucking a few items back in the boat and do our final checks. Uh, Mix yet to do a final check of the weather today, but it's looking pretty promising for the weekend. We might get a bit of an early launch, but we'll keep you posted on that and uh, let you know what we're planning as we get a little bit closer. It's pretty much day to day at the moment. Mix on his holidays now. I've got a couple of night shifts just to tick off before I finally call it holiday mode. But yeah, it's a glorious day today already. It's getting very tempting to just want to get going. But a um, little sneaky cool westerly there this morning and reminding us that we need to still have our winter woolies packed for the boat. Anyway, Mick's going to do a bit of a chat about the boat. Do a little video of um, what we've done to prep it as promised. See how you like it. All right, let's have a look at her. Let's talk us through it, babe. Hey team. Um, yep. So it's just a 2400 Kevlar Cat Weekender. Um, yeah, we had to search high and low for it. We ended up getting it from Fremantle, so it was a bit of an effort, but well worth it. Weekenders are pretty rare to get second hand. Um, it's got the 150 Yamaha four strokes on it. Really good, love it. The wrap's only new though, hey babe? Yeah, we just put the wrap on only fairly recently. Been on a couple of trips now. Titan Graphics uh, hooked us up. Just a little half wrap there and he's um yeah well worth dealing with the guys they're really easy and uh helpful any advice on this guys we would probably say depending on how strong your marriage is and how patient you are have a crack at it yourself but if you're at all concerned pay someone <laughs> you the, uh, shower on suite that we fitted when i had the back canopy set up and put on uh, yeah, I wanted a bit of a uh, hoop there that I can mount this on. The idea was to take it on and off, but it just lives there now. And uh, Aaron from Keppel Coast Upholstery, he's done the curtains and the, and the whole roof for us. And he mounted this up and just modified the actual ensuite curtain itself to suit the platform a little bit better. But it works really well. She obviously just folds out here and a few little clips on. and Just a nice secure spot when you're having a shower, whether it be um, you know, somewhere that you want a bit of privacy or just to cut that wind off a bit. But yeah, well worth the effort if you, you can. So yeah, a few people have been asking about the flooring. Um, just that Eva flooring, it's only the cheap stuff off eBay. Uh, the CEDAC stuff, I mean, obviously it's Mickey Mouse and it looks a treat, but it's just so expensive and I just wasn't 100% committed to it. So just sort of give this stuff a crack. Um, it's been down. Yeah, so just, um, we bought the Barbie just for this trip, especially. Um, you know, the cutting board and everything never used to be there. Uh, it's exactly the same as the one on the on the start on the port side. Um, I ended up swapping and made the rear lounge, and he had a second cutting board that he wasn't going to use. So we're just working out well. Everything on this boat that I've tried to do, I've tried to make it so is that um, it's removable, and you, you don't make a major mod to the boat. So the day ever comes we do sell it, and the next bloke doesn't want it like that. It's happy days back to what it was like standard. So. Everything's worked out pretty good. The um, yeah, so the cutting board. We're just going fishing. You can easily. I've got a couple of wing nuts under there. Takes the takes the uh, barbecue off. I've had it on a trip now just to see how it would stand up, and it seems to sit there really nice. So the, we'll give her a crack. Stanareski here. Oh, it was in the center. Sorry, it was mounted when I first got it. I mounted it in there. It's just an ever cool 185 tall. They don't make them anymore. I don't know why. Such a good esky. Um, yeah, so I mounted it there originally, and then when we decided to mod this up and see if we could make a bit of a dinette, end up going here. I've just got it on. It's actually just on. It's actually just on clips. So if you want, you go know, fishing. Happy days. It's back in the middle. Otherwise, she lives over here. Clamps on there. It's nice and secure. Adds a seat. Yeah, and then you just turn the seats around. Bob's uncle, bit of a dinette there. Just somewhere nice to chill out once we've uh, finished fishing for the day and we park up somewhere. Somewhere to sit comfortably and have a beer and stuff like that. It's, um, you can still easily access the esky under there. Yeah, so just, yeah, so just uh, this table here, I just got it from Bunnings. Just modified it a little bit. Still got the full cable cat esky there. And it unclips then, and we can tuck it down in the side when we don't want it there either, so it just hides away. Yep. Uh, the seats we, um, the seats that were in it were just the standard Kevlar cat ones that come, was just a little bit, uh, they'll get a bit tattered and worn, so I was going to get them upholstered or get new ones, but these are only 50 bucks. 
a seat beer, so and well worth it. They are so comfy, so if you're considering it, um, if you do the time in the K's yeah. to get you to your spot, it's yeah. On them long trips, even the fold up bolster seats and that, they, they're nice just when you, if you have to stand up or whatever have you. So definitely recommend these. Uh, just being the weekend though, it's just got the kitchenette in lieu of the second esky, like the offshores. Uh, just in here's a gas bottle, just access to the fuel, bit of storage. I'm um, gonna run a second gas bottle there for the trip, but that one will always just live in there. Now, uh, so the the beauty of the the beauty of the weekenders, typically what they say. So you've got the kitchenette there. Easily um, set up. I um, it had just a tackle drawer there. I ended up getting this drawer. It's just made up by Plaztec. They're really easy to deal with. Make a heap of different drawers and cupboards and stuff, as a few of you would have seen. Um, or, or custom stuff if you want to measure it up. You got pretty much everything made to fit and then just fit it yourself over. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The custom ones, just a certain size, so they fit there perfectly. And then, and then I made a little pantry, if you want to call it that. Just keeps everything in there, cups, cutlery, bit of food stuff, breadcrumbs, that sort of stuff, just for having cook-ups. But right, so up in the cab, um, before we get there, so you'll see here, my took notice says, I've built this in. Um, just made a bit of use. No one ever stands in the, um, yeah, stands in the pasture side, everyone seated, so there's a little bit of a wasted space, so I end up making use of that for the, for the little travel oven. Little 12 volt one from Kickass. I wanted uh, one of these, we've used it a few times there, um, mainly just mainly just reheating like pies, sausage rolls, things like that for a fishing trip, but Jill's used it to do garlic bread and stuff. We plan on using it a lot more this trip. 180 degrees and, um, you know, we'll do a roast apparently. I don't know if we're gonna get that excited, but. Good for little pizzas and stuff too. If you, it's good to have it on and be cooking and doing its part while we're traveling and things like that. So yep. it's ready when we get there. Pretty cool little rig. Uh, Obviously, this is the toilet there. I put a little, put it on hinges. This and my little clip there, so you can sit. Just a little mirror there for when I do my makeup. I tried um, put this little barrier in the other day. Just screwed it to the infill I put in there, and then just velcroed it there. We'll see how it goes. But it seems fairly solid. Um, the idea being that just to keep this free, this area here, so that you know it's always accessible, and then um, you can still just sit there and. Whatever have you, but then all the luggage can just sit up the front. That way it just keeps it a bit neater and you don't have to shuffle stuff around. Don't worry about too much luggage on the boat. No. Uh, so yeah, Jill's is up in the bed there. I put this, I made this infill when we first got it. Um, keeps a nice bit of space, bit of storage under there. And then, yeah, believe it or not, that's pretty much king so, uh, queen size, sorry, bed. You can see there, Jill's fairly easily stretched out. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit short of the headroom there, but yeah, it does the trick. And then a couple little, a couple little luxuries up the top. Got the little TV there and the and the um, 12 volt fan. This is my favourite seat in the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jill doesn't want a nap. Um, under the bed, there's a 50 litre bladder and then the 60 litre tank built in, so 110 on board of water. Um, so the 16 inch Raymarine touch plotter um, sounder combo, it's uh, got the chirp module and the one kilowatt, I've always been for Uno but the Raymarine seems to be working pretty well, pretty happy with it, I don't know if I'd like to replace it if it ever shits itself but, um, I've got the normal life jackets up, up, up the front, but yeah I don't mind running these little inflatables, just a couple of them that are handy. Um, especially doing these long trips, potentially at night time. They're living there all the time. It's just a nice little handy thing. Usually if something happens, or if it did, usually happens pretty quick and everyone's pretty panicked. And um, So you want to have stuff handy. Recently, I changed the battery system. Um, it just had a, it always had the house battery in the middle here. Um, so I ended up running, it just had, a, I had a 140 amp hour uh, AGM battery which I've now changed to a uh, 200 amp hour lithium. Um, just give the Solar King one a go. Fits in there nice. And then I had to change and upgrade the wiring there and I put a Enerdrive DC-DC charger. Uh, this is a solar setup. 
put the Anderson plug there. The idea was that because uh, I haven't got the 240, when I get home, I can put a little panel on the roof and just plug it in there, and that way they can keep everything topped up. But yeah, just a little bit. We've tested a couple of times. Just wanted to have no real power issues, you know, when we're on our trip. So 200 amp hour lithium with uh, with the solar and the and the DC DC should it should give us plenty of power for what we need. It's got two 150 amp, uh, watt solar panels. Married up and go to that charger. I said it did have a little short, had a little short uh, canopy on it. That's what this was for, and we ended up just bastardizing it a bit and then extending it to put the full one on, which is worth its weight in gold. And I put these rails on the other day just to keep that um, tender just off the roof a bit. And it makes a little gap because the tender actually sits up on there. There's a little gap here that maybe some crab pots or something like that will go on there for the trip. a winch there and then yeah just a light bar the tv antenna and the gps antenna yeah so easy as that it's not too bad mate you can see there you yeah, still get good vision through and still let that bit of you feel still feel open even though like for a small boat and you still got the gap there when you have the shower then come over here drop down all nice and secure should be good <laughs>